Hello, beautiful people. So I get a lot of questions about my hammock setup for backpacking and camping. So that is what today's video is going to be all about. I am going to show you guys how I set up my hammock. We will do a brief tour of it, some frequently asked questions, and then I will um, sleep in it tonight. And then I will show you how fast it is to take down in the morning. Let's do it. Okay, so we're at camp. I chose my trees. First thing we're going to do is put our straps up on the tree. So there's a thick part and a smaller part. The thick line is what goes around the tree, and that's to help protect the tree so that your line isn't ripping the bark off the tree. So we're going to put that around both trees first. Now I have my hammock and tarp in a snakeskin. So at the end of each snakeskin here, I have string hanging out, which makes it look a little messy, but there's two things coming out. One is the string for the tarp, and then this little metal piece right here is the actual hammock. And this has to be sticking out because at the end of the line from the trees, there's a little loop that this will go into to lock the hammock into place. So what I'm gonna go do is put both ends of this hammock onto my tree straps. Next up, we're going to remove the snake skin. So we're gonna like let everything out. When I do that, everything is gonna drop out of this because it's all rolled and bunched up in here. So when I pull this all back, it's all gonna fall out. All right, so it looks pretty messy at this point, but What's happening is I've got both layers of the tarp going over top and inside is my hammock. <laughs> so now we need to tighten the tarp on top so that it is up off of the hammock itself. There is a ridge line right here that it's following at the moment. Okay, so we have that taut. Now we're gonna work on the corners. And there are two things that are gonna happen with the corners. Two sides, because I'm trying something new, I should say. Two sides are just gonna get staked down to the ground. And the other two sides, I'm gonna try and uh, tension them out with my hiking poles. I haven't done this yet. This is the first time I'm gonna try it. So that one side can be propped up open because I'm not expecting wind or rain or anything tonight. I wanna give it a try. I think I did it. Uh, 
I don't know if there's like a rhyme or reason, but I found a way that worked pretty quickly and easy for me to set up. So I'm gonna run with that. All right, I'm gonna stop filming and set up the other one and then uh, we will come back and talk about setting up my hammock for sleeping itself. Okay, so sorry, this is kind of a weird angle, but it's hard to get y'all under here. So we're under the tarp, very nice, spacious. I have a nice mountain view. The next thing I need to do to set up my hammock, it comes with one pole and it just goes very simply to help keep the hammock wide. I'm right in front of it, but there's a spot whew, right there. If you can see that dark line, that's where this is gonna go and it just helps open the hammock a little bit to make it more spacious. So that's the only other thing that has to happen to the hammock itself. From this point on, the things that are going in is just my sleep system. So as you can see, there's a bug net that is zippered on that will stay on all year round. Um, but I'm just going to open up this zipper and start putting in my sleep stuff. I am going to position it. I like to have my head underneath that widest point. So my head is going to be at the far end there and my feet will be here. But. And that's pretty much it. Um, from there, my pack can either sit on the ground or what I have done when it's raining is I can hang it. What I'll do is I'll take this top and it rolls and then snaps together. And I will snap this around the line so that it's hanging inside and it stays off of the ground if water is running and also um, is in protected a little bit from blowing rain also. And Let's test it. I'm sitting on my bear canister. My head is just barely touching the top, but honestly, not bad. I can sit here like this, totally content, and look at these mountains. Another interesting feature of my hammock setup is these doors. So there's one little triangle there that you see is folded back. And on the other side is another one. So. If weather was really bad, I can drop that side that's tension pulled up and I can attach those two triangles together and or I have two extra stakes to stake them pulled in a little bit and it will close in the sides and create a closed space so that if weather is particularly bad, I have full protection. All right, you guys, for a quick tour and some close-ups, this is what the overview looks like of my hammock setup. We've got the one side pulled out with a porch awning and the other side is pulled down for protection and privacy. So on the sides here, you've got the tree straps going around. They come down. This is just the bunched up snake skin. I've got a ridge line and the tarp follows that. And then at the other end, you can see the other snake skin and the tree straps. Underneath, we have my hammock from Eno. It's got the attached bug net. Inside, my cozy little home. There's a pocket up there that I can use. I've got my mat down and my sleeping bag and my warm clothes just on top ready to go. But all the way down, I'm not holding it out at all. That's just what it looks like on the inside. I do also have a little pocket here that has my headlamp ready to go for when the sun goes down, but there it is. Hammock setup, fit for the AT. I thought I would answer a couple questions about my hammock setup because I know a lot of people have questions and I know some of the really common ones, so I might answer your questions. Um, one of them is just if I can sleep in a hammock, and the answer is big time yes. When I was somewhere in high school, um, my mom got me my first um, Eno double nest hammock, and I actually drilled two bolts into studs in my walls across a corner, 
and I slept in my hammock <laughs> because I got it for Christmas and it was winter so I didn't want to be outside. I slept in my hammock for like eight months like in my room as my bed. Um, so yes, I can sleep in a hammock pretty darn well. Also, um, people might be surprised to see that I put both my tarp and my hammock in my snakeskin. And part of that is coming from a lack of experience on my end. The snakeskins are new to me. I got them because I wanted to streamline the efficiency of putting up a hammock setup so that it wasn't three separate things in my pack. If it turns out that that's not what I ultimately want or it's inefficient or I don't know, it just, I find that it's not working. Um, I have no problem ditching them and going back to three separate pieces in my pack. But for now, I wanted to try it out. And at the moment, I'm liking having it all together in one. A big concern, I think, in that regard is that if my stuff gets wet and it gets all rolled up together, it'll get my hammock wet. And that's a legitimate concern. I don't have the rain experience yet with it to know how that happens. Um, I Basically what I'm thinking is that the way that I roll it when it goes in, and I'll show you guys this tomorrow morning, but I roll it so that the hammock is solidly on the inside and never touches the outside of the hammock or of the tarp, excuse me, and I roll it. So if it's getting wet, if my hammock is getting wet, I think it's only going to be condensation um, coming from the tarp itself. In theory, again. <laughs> also, I know it's not a perfect system. I know that my stuff is not always going to be dry. If you guys remember back, one of the reasons I'm doing a hammock as opposed to a tent is because of how much rain there is. And I know that um, tents have a saturation point also and they flood. And because you're on the ground, you're just sitting on the wet bottom. So it's not like if I had a tent system, I would be getting away from having a wet setup. So I think to some extent, it's something I'm going to have to deal with. To another extent, it's something I'm going to have to figure out where my comfort levels are. But for now, this is what I have and that's my system. But I'll let you guys know if that changes. Another big concern with hammock setups is the weight. And yes, uh, it's a little bit on the heavier side. Basically, my setup equals that of like a two-person tent. So not terribly heavy. The biggest piece of that is my tarp itself. So if you guys remember, I'm using a tarp that I just had. Um, a couple of you guys have been really generous and sent me some um, Venmo, some financial support. And I really appreciate that. And something that I'm playing with the idea of doing is getting a better tarp for myself that has better waterproofing. It's made of Dyneema and is less than half of the weight of this tarp. And I have not bit the bullet yet to do that because it's a very expensive piece of gear. Um, but that is something that I am playing with doing. If you guys have any particular hammock tarps that you strongly recommend, please let me know because I'm not married to this one. Again, it's just what I had and I was running with it, but I wouldn't mind if something worked a little bit better. So another question is if I have trouble finding places to hang my hammock and in Appalachia, no. <laughs> I know that there are places we will go over balds and and that's fine. Honestly, my plan for those areas is to either not camp on the bald, camp like on either side of it and then hike up for sunrise or sunset or something, or I can always cowboy camp. Another question I get asked a lot, I almost forgot, is about privacy because especially the way I have my setup right now with the front porch area, uh, everyone can see in there and you know you can definitely tell if I'm wiggling around in my hammock and I think part of why <clears throat> I'm not worried about privacy is because I don't really care if people see me wiggling around in my hammock I don't have any issues getting dressed in there it's you know it's obviously just different you're laying down for the whole process but that's fine I also if I really wanted to depends on camp of course but I've got this whole back side here, and that's actually what I did today. I just stood outside around back in case someone came up the trail that I didn't hear, and I just changed standing up behind my, my tarp, and that worked just fine. But other than that, I feel like even inside my hammock, I do have a lot of privacy. There's options that I have, but I don't have any issues getting changed, and I feel like I have the privacy I need. Okay, so I slept in my hammock setup last night, and now it's time to uh, take everything down. I have already packed up um, <clears throat> my sleep system 
and anything I had inside the hammock with me for the night. Um, and I did, the only other thing that I have done is I took down one of the poles um, that was holding suspension because that is what I prop my phone up on. So one of those is already down, but that aside, we're gonna take all this down. I'm gonna do it like normal. I'm not gonna rush. I'm just gonna see how long it normally takes me. Um, I'm gonna do a time lapse on my phone and I'm going to time myself on my watch so we can get an accurate uh, idea of how long that is. So let's break camp. All right, broke camp. Um, it took me slightly a second longer because I realized I did actually forget my um, sleeping pad in the hammock, so I had to take that out. But um, also things were wet this morning, so that takes slightly longer, but it took me, whoops. Um, it took me um, almost seven minutes. So six minutes-ish. Um, and that's not bad. I know it's not the absolute fastest. I also wasn't moving super fast. Um, one of the things that I like about this setup and the way that I do that is that if it is raining while I'm taking down camp, the tarp is always on the outside. So my inside stuff is never getting wet. And I, until the point that I'm actually rolling up my, my, um, my snake skin and all that stuff, um, everything, there's still dry space. So Went pretty well. I'm sure I'll get faster as time goes on, but it wasn't too bad. <laughs> 